Right, hello everyone and welcome back to another video on the channel now today. Today I'm going to be picking five players I think should sign for Wrexham FC this summer for the upcoming 21-22 season under Phil Parkinson. Before anything, please hit that red subscribe button. Um, we're on the road to 1,800 subscribers. We're only like 34 away or something. It's like 85% of you aren't subscribed. So, so please hit the red subscribe button. It helps me out a lot. And let's get into my fifth place. Fifth place is Callum McFadzine. Now, this is a 27-year-old midfielder slash defend defender. He's a very versatile player who recently got released by Sunderland. Uh, he played 27 times in League One for the Black Cats uh, across the whole of the season, including six in the Football League trophy, formerly of Plymouth, Bury, Sheffield United, uh, etc. He's been quite at quite a lot of clubs and a consistent starter at each of those. Um, this would be a great signing. I do believe he might have played under Parkinson at Sunderland earlier on this season. Uh, McFadzine would be a good signing. Can, could we get him down to this level? I think Parkinson could, could, sorry, could pull something out of the bag. So McFadzine is my fifth place. Fourth place, I've gone for a defender called Pierce Sweeney. Recently stole the headlines for after leaving Swindon Town after only 24 hours at the club after he left. 38 games played for ninth place Exeter in League Two last season would be a quality replacement for Pearson and Vassell. But will he be willing to drop down the league after the season he's had uh, nearly getting in the playoffs with the Grecians at Exeter? I'm not sure, but it'd be hard to reject playing under Phil Parkinson now. Uh, I think Sweeney would be a very solid signing. And yeah, it, I think Pierre Sweeney could join Wrexham. Third place, I have gone for Ronan Darcy, a very promising young talent uh, who plays as a centre attacker midfielder for League One side Bolton Wanderers. Unfortunately, can't get into the starting eleven under Ian Everett. Played seven times in the promotion uh, season for the Wanderers this season, but unfortunately, like we said, a lack of game time uh, isn't to be for the 20-year-old. So I think a move to Wrexham, maybe on loan until maybe January or until the end of the season, I'm sure it would make him excel as a player and would really suit uh, our playing style now, feeding the through balls to the strikers. He looks a promising youngster and I've seen some of his highlights from when he played for Bolton when they had to play their youth team. So I think Darcy would be a great signing for Wrexham. Second place now is a striker called Reese Oates. Now this is a man who has actually been linked with joining Wrexham Football Club and they've said it, well the, the rumours have been saying they want it to be Parkinson's first signing and they're doing everything they can to get this one over the line. If we got him it would be brilliant. 18 goals scored in 40 National League games for recently promoted Hartlepool United. He would certainly get those numbers again, if not more, with the services we have at Wrexham. Luke Young, Jordan Davis in the middle of the park. It would, I think he would get 20 plus goals. Be it, he's a, an experienced striker who's been in the Football League before. Whether he wants to drop back down to the National League, we don't know. He's done it before. Will we see it again? I see why not. So Reese Oates, again, a striker at Wrexham, would score the goals we've been missing since Malt. First place. Paul Mullin. We can only dream, Wrexham fans, we can dream of having a striker like Paul Mullin at the club. Eight days ago, he rejected a contract at, uh, after firing Cambridge United to League One, some could say single-handedly, after 32 goals in 46 games. That is one hell of a record. Um, like I said, we can only dream as Wrexham fans to see Mullin in the new Wrexham shirt. Um, him and Angus up top, I think, would be lethal. Very Two very similar strikers. Like I said, it's unlikely. Um, he might be po get poached up by a League One club or maybe even a championship club. But Mullen, I'd love to see at the race course. The possibility of this happening is probably 5% to 10%. But yeah, this would be one hell of a signing. And that is my first place to Cambridge, former Cambridge striker, Paul Mullen. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like, drop a comment down below who you want to see 
uh, play for Wrexham in the shirt next season. Uh, yeah, subscribe to the channel, like I said, we're on the road to 2,000, we're not far off now. Um, so yeah, hit the red subscribe button, put the notifications on so you don't miss a video. And the last few have done really well, which I'm happy about. So if you're enjoying them, like I said, just drop a like. Let's go for 60 likes on today's video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.